Folks, if you fly beta flight and you have DJI goggles, then you are missing out on a very, very important function that tells you when you're about to fail safe. And the beta flight devs have not shown any interest in actually fixing this problem. You see, the problem is that the DJI goggles do not fully support the beta flight OSD. And that means that they cannot show the LQ the link quality, which is the number one way of knowing when you're about to fail safe. So that's the problem. And today I'm gonna to give you the fix. I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're gonna learn something today. So this fix comes courtesy of a developer named Howells who has forked the Betaflight project, yay open source, and has put the proper LQ readout and the proper RSSI DBM readout in the craft name field. So the problem with here is that DJI only supports certain Betaflight OSD elements. They don't fully support canvas mode, which would let the DJI goggles show the entire Betaflight OSD. For the record, HD0 and Sharkbite do support canvas mode and you get the full Betaflight OSD. And Caddx has said that they're working on this, but they said that like six months ago and they were kind of under pressure in a bad PR situation. So I'm not actually sure they meant it. And I gotta say, I'm not actually too mad at the Betaflight devs for not making this an official fix because the Betaflight devs position is that they should just implement canvas mode. That's what canvas mode is for. But the great thing about open source is that when the devs say, no, we are not doing this, someone else can say, I'll do it. And that's exactly what's happened here. So how do you take advantage of this? The first thing you need to do is plug in your flight controller and we're gonna look up here in the upper left. And you're gonna see a target name here in the upper left and it's gonna read something like IFRC, that first one is the manufacturer, JBF7, that second one is the target name, and then the third one is what you want, STM32F7X2. You want that last, that last entry there. And it's gonna read something like STM32F7X2, uh, F745, F411. It's gonna be one of these things. If you don't see one of these things up there in the upper left right here, this isn't going to work for you. It's just not being built for your flight controller. And I don't know that there's really a workaround, but these should cover most flight controllers that most people are using. So mine is STM32 F7X2, and I'm going to go to this web page and I'm going to download STM37 F7X2. I'm just going to click that and it's going to download to my hard drive. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the presets tab. And if you don't have a presets tab, it is probably because you're not using Betaflight Configurator 10.8.0. And since you're about to flash a Betaflight 4.3 firmware, you must be using Configurator 10.8.0. It's mandatory. So if you don't have that, go to this URL, which is down in the video description, just like always, and download the latest version of Betaflight Configurator. At this time, it is 10.8.0 Release Candidate 2. If you're using an older version of Configurator 10.8.0, because you've been running Betaflight 4.3 for a while, you should still go download the latest version right now because your older version may not be compatible with this firmware and you could run into problems. So here in the Presets tab, I'm gonna just hit Save Backup and that is gonna back up my whole configuration. I'll just save that on my desktop for later just in case. The next thing we're gonna do is disconnect and go to the firmware flasher tab. What I wanna do is just hit auto detect here and it will fill in my flight controller target, which is JBF7. I'm gonna hit load firmware local, not online, but local. And I'm gonna go to my downloads folder where I saved that file. And I'm going to select that file and open it. And then I'm gonna hit flash firmware. After that flash completes, I'm gonna hit connect and I'm going to apply custom defaults just like always. And then the next thing I need to do is restore my configuration. This quad was already on Betaflight 4.3, so I can just load backup and load that backup in. If your quad was not on 4.3, it was on 4.2, there is this tool, the Betaflight 4.3 Safe Migration Tool. And what you do is you paste your 4.2 diff in here, you hit Get Betaflight 4.3 Safe Diff, and it gives you a diff file that is probably safe to paste in. He recommends that you still sort of go through it and you look at it and you check the, everything. There's nothing that got messed up, but that's a good step towards helping you upgrade from 4.2 to 4.3 more easily. Desktop, I'm gonna load that backup file back in. And then to get this working, I'm gonna to go to the OSD tab. And what you need to have is you need warnings enabled, RSSI DBM enabled, not RSSI value, that's the older percent, LQ, link quality enabled. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna enable the craft name OSD element. You're gonna put that 
wherever you want the warnings to pop up and wherever you want the LQ and the RSSI to pop up. You may wanna just turn on your goggles and look in your goggles and drag it around to see because the goggles have a wide screen and this is a 4.3 screen. So where it is here isn't always the right place for it to be when you're actually looking in the goggles. The other thing that you might need to change is that you no longer need to use the RSSI channel to get RSSI. If you have RSSI channels set to like AUX12 and you've got it set up in your Crossfire receivers so it's outputting LQ on AUX12, you don't need that anymore. Set your RSSI channel to disabled and if for some reason you're using RSSI ADC, disable that as well. Oh, I got a warning and it's covering up my RSSI and my LQ. So the way this works is if you have a warning, it will show the warning, like battery less than full or RX loss. It'll only show the RSSI and LQ if there is no warning. So guess what I should do is in the OSD tab, I'm gonna turn off any of these warnings that I don't really care about so that at least uh, if I get a warning and it's overriding my LQ and RSSI, it'll be a warning, I, like a really important one. Arming disabled, I definitely want to know about that. Battery critical, battery not full. I don't care about battery not full. Battery warning, that'll only ha probably happen while I'm flying. Core temperature, I don't care about that. Crash flip will only be when I'm actually using it. You see fail, yeah. That would be a bigger deal than RSSI or LQ fail safe I'd want to know about. Don't use GPS rescue, so this shouldn't matter. I'll turn these off on these quad anyway. I don't use launch control. Do I want an LQ warning? Yeah, I guess I do. I guess I need to know that now. RSSI DBM warning, sure. And a visual beeper. Okay, that's, that's going to be good. I like that. Well, it's showing... LQ 100 instead of 1 colon 0, 1 colon 100. If you're not sure what that whole 1 colon 100 uh, nomenclature for LQ even is, I've got a tutorial about how to interpret that. I'll put that down in the video description. And if you're not even sure what LQ is, I've got another video talking about what LQ is and why Express LRS doesn't have an LQ threshold. Yes, obviously it will fail safe if LQ gets too low, but they don't actually give you a threshold. And if you've ever wanted to understand LQ better, whether you fly Express LRS or not, that's a great reference for you. I, I think this video is gonna be so valuable for so many DJI pilots who have wanted LQ for the longest time. And if you agree, can I ask you to go down there and hit the like button? It will help other people see this video and hopefully help them out as well. Uh, and it would sure mean a lot to me. Thank you so much for doing that. That's gonna do it for this video though. Thank you also to the beautiful people or person who made this happen. Maybe they'll figure out why I'm only seeing 100 instead of 1 colon 100 and release an updated version of it. Thanks so much for watching. Happy flying. Do you see this baby? Isn't he cute? Hit the subscribe button. Join my Patreon. Use my affiliate links. Or just keep watching videos. That's better than nothing. Coco Gaga, subscribe to my daddy.